Hey guys, um, just wanted to make a short little video about putting the gardener's supply um, indoor sunlight garden kit together. Um, this is the one that I got. I got the two tier sunlight garden. Um, I mostly used the diagrams. Um, assembly instructions are kind of difficult to understand for a lot of things. So I used the diagrams a lot. <clears throat> um, but I noticed there were a couple of areas where people were really having trouble. So I thought I might just make a video. And if it helps somebody, cool. So obviously you want to make your side frames first before you start putting things in the middle. Um, that will make your life so much easier. Uh, your S2 bar is the shorter one and it's going to go in the middle. Your S1R and your S1L are going to go on the outsides. And when you put these together, make sure you have the top of the bar and the bottom of the bar in the right place. So the top of these longer bars only has two holes. It's got a hole on this side and a hole on this side. The end that has four holes, one on each side, that's the bottom. So <clears throat> here we've got our S3T bar that holds the long bars together. You want to make sure that the really big hole is on top because what you're going to have to do is take one of the little short screws, the three quarter inch screws, and drop it in the hole. And the reason that you have to use the short screws here, even though it's a pain in the butt, is because you've got to have enough room for this screw to go in over the top of it. And you have to keep this hole clear because that's where the chain for your adjustable lights is going to go. So you've got to have the short little bolt that fits right in here. It really helps if you have a screwdriver with a um, magnetic end on it. So you can keep a hold of that sucker when you drop it in. Um, I don't have one of those and it took me forever to get that in there. But just thought I would share that with you. Um, also on these big bars, the S1R and the S1L that go on the outside, make sure at the bottom that the really big hole is facing outside. You don't you don't want it on the inside, you want it on the outside because, and yes, you're gonna have to drop, drop a bolt in there again. But the reason you do that is because you're gonna have another bar that connects this to this. And so you gotta have room for that screw to go in from out here. So you have to drop this screw all the way in so it's out of the way for this one. Something else I ran into was these little guys, these built-in nuts um, that help screw your bolts in really tight. So some of these for me were actually not level. Um, if, you, if you want your bolt to go in straight and thread correctly, this needs to be level. It can't be tilted to, you know, to one side or the other. It's got to be level. And so I had a couple that weren't level. So all I did, it was super easy. All I did is take a flathead screwdriver and I put it on the side that was tilted up and I just stuck it right in there. And then I hit the top of it with a hammer and just knocked it down so that the whole thing was level and my bolt would thread correctly. Um, this piece right here, um, if you don't know what a flange is, this long skinny piece is the flange. So in the directions when it talks about that, this is what it's talking about. Um, and you want, when you put this piece in, you want that flange pointing up. See, this is one of the bars that your little water trays are gonna sit on. So you gotta, you gotta put the square part of it to the inside because you gotta give it something to sit on. And then the flange needs to point up 
because that keeps the water tray from sliding off the edge of the bar. So you'll do that, you actually have four of these. You'll do that one on each side here and here at the bottom to hold both of your trays. So that's what that's talking about when it says flange in the directions in case you didn't know. I hope that helps some. Um, comment below. Obviously this video is for beginners. If you're master craftsman, and I'm not sure why you're here, but let me know what you think. Thanks.